This is Dr. Jenny Stepanek, mother of Maddie J.T. Stepanek, whom we will be recognizing this evening. Whereas Maddie J.T. Stepanek was an American poet, ambassador, and advocate for peace in our world. Whereas at the age of three, Maddie started writing poetry, which he referred to as his heart songs, enabling him to cope with a rare and fatal form of muscular dystrophy, a disease that also claimed the lives of his sister and two brothers. Whereas the message contained in Maddie's heart songs touched the lives of people around the world, reaching individuals of all ages, races, nationalities, faiths, abilities, and aspirations. And whereas after his death on June 22, 2004, Just Peace, a collection of essays on peace and Maddie's correspondence with former President Jimmy Carter was published and awarded the 2007 Independent Publisher Gold Medal Award for the Outstanding Book of the Year in the Peacemaker category. And whereas the Stepanek family chose to live in Rockville and Maddie loved his city, neighbors, and friends. Whereas on October 18th, 2008, the city of Rockville honored Maddie J.T. Stepanek for his remarkable contributions to his community and to people all over the world by naming 26 acres of park in the King Farm community for him. Whereas the Maddie J.T. Stepanek Foundation will host a gathering of gratitude on July 17th, 2022 in the Peace Garden at Maddie J.T. Stepanek Park. Now, therefore, the mayor and council of the city of Rockville do hereby proclaim July 17th, 2022 as Maddie Stepanek Peace Day and encourage all members of our community to recognize the many contributions of Maddie's by thinking gently, speaking gently, and living gently, the motto by which this courageous young man lived his life. I almost didn't get through that. Uh, proclamation's been moved and seconded. All those in favor, please raise your hand. It is unanimous. Thank you. Yeah, oh, yeah, please. I can hold this down if that helps. I'll try to speak up also. Um, so thank you, Mayor and Council, and thank you, community, also, for embracing my son and his ongoing message. We're going through tough times now. Um, locally and globally we're dealing with um let me try to hold it there we're dealing with economic crises we're dealing with um ongoing covid challenges we're dealing with all sorts of discord as neighbors and as global neighbors and we can't really choose what happens in the news we can't always choose the weather but what we can choose is our attitude we can we can not change the facts of a story i can't change the fact that my son died way too soon but i am responsible for what happens next beyond that sad point and that's that's what we try to do with maddie's foundation as mayor newton said maddie chose to live in the city of rockville when we were moving from poverty to a place of our own and that was more than 20 years ago, and I am thrilled that he chose this city because this is where gen generally and genuinely, I'd say people are more about purpose than power. People really try to play well together. So year after year, this city council, every mayor has celebrated Maddie's birthday as a day of peace. That's now a permanent thing in the city of Rockville. Um, and we're going to celebrate his birthday. It actually falls on a Sunday this year. So please come to the Maddie J.T. Stepanek Park up in King Farm, um, Sunday, July 17th, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. It's a shorter and smaller scale celebration than we usually have because we're, we're also dealing with the economic challenges and the COVID stuff and trying to be respectful. But even though it's a smaller scale thing, it's going to be just as worthy, just as wonderful. We've got the Blarney Bench back uh, with music. We've got cupcakes. We've got activities for young and old that help people better understand Maddie's messages of peace and how to choose peace. Um, we're going to have proclamations from the city, the county, and the state. The governor sending a proclamation also uh, declaring Maddie's birthday a day of peace. So thank you, everybody. I hope you just show up with Purpose for Peace. And thank you, Mayor and City Council, for always making peace a priority for this city. Thank you.